All right, it's Postbox, the segment where you get to vicariously enjoy the opening and testing of packages virtually over the internet. Good fun. Let's get started. What do we got here? It's to me, Mike Savage, and what do it say it is? Electrical components, no commercial value. That's interesting. But then here it says value USD 3. Huh. Well, let's see what it is. Some buttons. Hmm. Those look like pretty interesting buttons. Nice big tactile momentary buttons. And uh, let's see. I think I'm going to be putting them in something like this. This is just a little light. And I can put it in the side there. It will control on or off or change between different modes or something. Um, this is just a prototype light that I'm working on. Um, I've got others in the works that will be 3D printed rather than just jammed into a piece of a EDS pipe fitting. So that's cool. Got some buttons. And, and here's the listing for those little buttons. They're two pieces, 12 millimeter waterproof momentary on off push button mini round switch green from deep learnings uh, and they cost a dollar twenty three plus free shipping moving right along see what else we have here this one is also addressed to me of course and it says it is CN hmm Document 0 0.017, other 2.8 volt. So weight is 0 0.017, value 284. Wonder what that could be. I'm not sure. So let's dig in and see. There's some wires there. Aha! This is a battery management system. Bag here. Perfect. Cool. So this one is a B1, B2, B3. B4, but I believe this is a 4S battery management system. Um, and let's see, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wires there. So I believe that is 4S. We've got B2, B3, B1, B9. Yes. So it goes basically 0, 1, 2, 3. And then B plus and yeah. And we also included this nice little connector and cable. So I believe this is a 4S uh, 30 amp. Yeah, it says 4S 30 amp. Uh, so that means I can power quite a lot of stuff off of a battery pack that I make with this. And I'll be using these sorts of cells. These are 18650 cells extracted from old laptop batteries. Not unlike this one. Um, and you just rip the batteries apart and extract these cells, cut them apart, and then I've been, I've been charging them, and then discharging them, and writing their capacity on them. 24, this one's 2420, and I've been leaving some in pairs. For example, this one's 33804 for the pair. So that's milliamp hours, and basically the reason that I'm testing them is because it's best to match similar capacity cells to make good even packs to ensure that they work well and last a long time. So 
That's what I've been doing here with this, and once I get enough cells categorized and ready to go, I'm going to make a battery pack for a uh, portable speaker system. So that's good, we got the new BMS. And here's the listing for that. It's a 4S 30 amp, 14.8 volt lithium ion 18650 battery BMS PCB board integrated circuits. And that was $3.72 Canadian with free shipping from Alice XI20. Moving right along, let's see what else we have. Yeah, here. This one is really thin and light, which is sometimes cool because there's some really thin and light circuit boards out there. All the all it says is CN integrated circuits. So there's some ICs in here. Let's just see exactly what ICs they are. Hoping it's a little tiny or something. Oh, so we've got another BMS. And this is another 4S BMS, it's got 14.8 volts, and it's a 20 amp BMS. So similar to this board here, except about half the current capabilities. Um, so we can make a s still decent size pack, but slightly smaller than this one. Very good! And here's a listing for that. It's a 4S 20 amp, 14.8 uh, volt to 16.8 volt lithium ion lithium 18650 battery BMS PCM protection PCB board uh, and that came from Acidy 2009 for $2.47 Canadian with free shipping. Moving right along, what do we got here? This one says LED chip, 0.2. I hope this is a NeoPixel ring, um, one of the SK series that has the red, green, blue, white LEDs in them. Um, somebody specifically requested something with just white. They want an only white, but uh, didn't find only white. I'm sure they maybe exist. If they do, comment in the comments below. And look at that. There are definitely some. LED color rings here, and it does look like they are of the red, green, blue, white variety. Um, can just quickly take them out and have a look. And it says on here WS2912B Moco 16 LED. And it's got your uh, data in, 5 volt, ground, and data out. Uh, so these can be hooked up to little microcontrollers uh, like an Arduino or an AT Tiny, like I've done here. Um, and then they can be programmed to control these little LEDs individually and have them do all sorts of fun patterns and sort of. Uh, animations uh, to light different things up. A couple different ideas I have for that include a little thing like this that uh, holds a little glass or crystal ball here. You still have to find a bigger one that fits in there nicely and sort of lights it up. Um, maybe I can show you more about these things in another video, but for now We've still got lots of items of post to open. And this is kind of cool. It's got two, four, six, eight, and then nine, one in the center. And this one also does look like it's a red, green, blue. And it's interesting. So the one in the center is actually not electrically connected to the outside one. And but you could easily just connect the Connect the DO to the DI there, and there you go. Kind of a neat little unit. This one, the 16 version, I thought it was going to be smaller. Because 
this ring right here is also 16 LEDs. And you can see this one is substantially larger. But that's cool, it could be useful for something. Let's see what that thing is that it comes useful for. And they also sent this interesting card with those lights. We Siri, light up your life. Integrated full color LED lights and controllers matching projects with the X supplier. And they're thanking me for choosing their product and we hope it can bring you a wonderful experience to you. Bring a wonderful experience. Yeah, well, playing around this, with this sort of stuff is sort of a fun experience. Um, if they need any help, they said that they can, we can contact them via email or Skype. Huh. Wow, well that's kind of neat. We can Skype with them then. Maybe that's something we could do another time. Sounds like kind of fun, but uh, that's kind of a nice card that they sent with those. So. And here's the listing for those. They're 1 to 241 bits WS2812B5050 RGB LED ring SK6812 RGBW RGBWW with integrated drivers. And they give you an option to select all the different types. I chose SK6812. Um, one of them is on a blackboard and one of them is on a whiteboard. And one of them had 8 LEDs and one of them had 16 LEDs. And Here's the price for the 16 LEDs. It was $8.16 with free shipping. And here's the price for the 8 LEDs. It was $5.78. Uh, interesting thing to note here. Um, they gave me one with 8 LEDs, but they also included the LED in the center. So I, they actually gave me 9 LEDs, which is kind of fun. Thanks for the extra LED. And that came; those came from WS2811. Um, and something to note here: there will be a new listing for these because it says the listing below has been updated by the seller. You can see the items purchased in the purchase history. Um, so it's going to be a different listing than what uh, what I see here. But um, you can get them from WS2811, and it's cool. They're pretty good because they sent me an extra LED. Thanks, guys. Alright, moving right along, we have Quantity <coughs> Expansion Board Module, Quantity 1, 0.04 dollars US, it's really not worth much, um, and this came from Mr. Yuan by Hong Kong Post, focus, there. cool, okay, so we'll see what it is. Ooh, these are cool. So these are little Arduino type boards. I believe these things are like a Pro Micro. Either that or ESP8266, but I don't think it's an ESP8266 because I don't see the Bluetooth stuff and the Wi-Fi stuff. So it's just like a uh, little mini Arduino. It only cost a few bucks. So kind of cool to be able to do lots of things, control these sorts of lights with them, make control systems, all sorts of things, inputs and outputs and sensors and lights and buzzers and all sorts of things can be hooked up to these to do, again, all sorts of things. Good fun. All right. So... And here's the listing for those. They're Mini USB Nano version 3, 18 Mega 328P CH340G 5 volt 16M microcontroller board Arduino. Uh, and I had ordered two of them, and it says price $359 uh, each, but when I had ordered them, they may have been a little cheaper because you can see here it shows order total five dollars and seventy four cents for those two little boards and there's all sorts of description about them here um, there's also an amplifier board on this listing but I didn't order one of those and 
these little boards came from good module. Moving right along, what else came in the mail? Oh, I know exactly what this is. This is, it says it's a speaker module, but I think it feels more like thermal compound. Very funny that it says it's a speaker module, because I also did order some stuff that has to do with speakers, but I don't think that this is that. But we'll just confirm by cutting into it here. And what do we have? We have HY510 Thermal Grease. This stuff is pretty good stuff for putting on heat sinks and stuff like that to conduct heat between the processing units and the heat sinks. And you can see on here, it's got a pretty decent thermal conductivity. 1.93 watts per meter K, I don't know exactly what that means, but it's good for transferring heat. And that is good, because I was running really low on that. And here's the listing for that. It's 30 gram gray thermal conductive grease paste for CPU GPU chipset cooling HY510. And that came from module fans for $1.33 Canadian with free shipping. Interesting thing about this is it does look a little bit different than what they have pictured here, but essentially it's the same stuff. And what else we got here? It says adhesive sealers. Hmm, interesting. Based on what it feels like, it's I think it's like a double-sided tape that can be used to mount strip lighting, but I'll just open it up and be sure about that. Oh, it's not. It's a nickel plate. So this I intend on using for tab welding these little 18650 cells together, these things. Uh, so the idea is that you put them side by side and arrange them in your series parallel configuration. I put this tab along it and spot weld onto the backs onto the battery, which is apparently better for the batteries than soldering. It gives you a good electrical connection to connect them all into together into packs of series parallel. Well, where I'll use one of these little battery management systems to make a battery pack. Very good fun. And here's the listing for that. Uh, NI plated nickel strip tape, one meter, eight millimeters by 0 0.15 millimeters for LI18650 battery spot welding. And it was 99 cents with free shipping from Acidy 2007. Moving right along. We got here. This one says IC capacitor, and it feels like capacitors. So that's kind of cool. I bet it's some capacitors for a little amplifier that I had. I have. Um, I had already. I had ordered two different values of capacitors for it. Um, one was th the ones that were on there were 35 volt. 470 ohms and I ordered some of those and I already replaced them but I also ordered these 50 volt 470 uh, microfarad capacitors and the idea is the other ones values had blown before and I was thinking if I got a higher voltage they might last better not sure it's just a hypothesis and here's the listing for those capacitors. They are 50 volt, 470 microfarad, uh, 105 C centigrade rating, radio le electrolytic capacitors, 10 by 20 millimeters. Uh, and there was 10 of them in the pack for a dollar and 42 cents with 19 cents shipping Canadian from Lucky Warm. What else we have here? This one. 
seems interesting. It simply says soldering irons. But I happen to know that this feels way too light to be a soldering iron. And it's got way too much foam in it. So I don't think it's a soldering iron exactly. But we're going to find out what it really is. It says that there's uh, the value is 8. KG 0.08 dollars. That's quite a lot of money. I don't know if I've ordered anything for 8 dollars off of the internet recently, but we're about to find out. Oh, maybe these were actually 8 dollars. And they do have to do with soldering. Um, these are some carbon filters that I'll be able to put in front of a fan and then like say this fan and it will suck any sort of carbon fumes any sort of solder fumes through the filter and then I'll exhaust the fan and hopefully that will make it so that it's safe, the fumes are safe once they come out the other side. And just a little more healthy because I still am doing soldering in the kitchen of my house. So hopefully that improves our health. And here's the listing for those. They're activated carbon filter solder smoke absorber ESD fume extractor 13 centimeters by 13 centimeters. And they came from Sari, Sarah Fine. Uh, and they were 99 cents American, $1.23 Canadian with free shipping. Okay, well, that looks like that's everything. We've got no more bags left on here and I'll just lay all the items out like this and it looks like a pretty good haul with these battery management systems NeoPixel lights capacitors uh, little Arduino boards some nickel tape and this carbon filter which will allow me to be a little healthier well soldering. Very good. Cheerio.